and hello my lovelies it is Tori the hope dealer and welcome to my channel guided intuition I am here with your daily guidance on this beautiful Wednesday however um, it's not your typical um, daily guidance because we know what we are looking at today or for some of you you could be ex um, experiencing the full moon in Capricorn tomorrow d depending on where you are around the world however I know that um, this full moon is going to bring up um, the intense emotions that we have hid, you know, or, or, or aren't aware that we're deep down. So everything could be coming to a head today. So if you feel like some emotions are, you don't understand where this energy coming from, you're anxious, you're nervous, you know, just, it's just you know, you're like, okay, what's going on? Um, this is where this is coming from, okay? I wanted to read you something really quick, really small from my Moonology um, book. Um, the full moon phase, it's make or break time, okay? Keywords of this phase, results, forgiveness, and gratitude, okay? <laughs> so um, it says the full moon is the high point of the lunar cycle. Things come to a head now, all right, and we know it. If one of your wishes is to come true, it may well manifest at this point in the cycle, or perhaps you will simply get a strong sign that it is on its way. Some wishes take time. Check in with your emotional guidance system. How do you feel about your dreams now? Okay. So I just want to stop there because that's that's all we need. Okay. <laughs> um, but um, I hope that you guys have grounded yourself this morning. I hope that you did something that's going to truly keep you during today self-care is definitely um definitely you want to make sure that you do something pertaining to self-care and yourself and loving on yourself and just giving yourself so many hugs but yes i know that we have a lot going on with the moon and i also did you guys so come back today on this channel and look at i did i asked four questions that are meant to invoke some feelings um out of you guys and give you some insight on you know what it's time to value about yourself and um in this cycle period okay not even just today this new shift that we took okay it's all about checking in with yourself because we know that what we are seeking is seeking us okay so but I just want to take the time that I know that it, it gets intense you know I found myself you know gonna get into getting a little hype into it too because you know Sagittarius Saturn just got up out of our shit so you know we're just very cautious you know however we we're not those same people guys so how the moon affected you last year versus how it is now, it's going to be different because you are we are constantly growing. So I want you to give yourself a pat on the back. I want you to clap for yourself. I want you to give yourself that cookie, okay? Yes, um, because I know that this full moon is going to bring some emotions um, forth and maybe some things that we didn't, you know, deal with that we have to deal with. That's life. It's called adulting. So maybe this full moon we're going to have to adult. We're going to have to make some decisions. I said decision shits, whatever. <laughs> decisions. However, whatever decisions we make, okay, this is to better us. This is to help us grow. This is to help us cultivate that dream and manifest it into this reality, okay? Out of our vortex, something that we can touch tangible, all right? I know that it might be intense, but I welcome it, and I want you to welcome it with me. Welcomely, happily go to those places and evaluate yourself. It's not always easy, you get what I'm saying? However, but it's beneficial for you. It's going to help you. So come back today. It's going to be up self-care 101, okay? Check in. They're going to, all 12 signs are already recording. That's why I wasn't really commenting back. Yesterday, I was like working busy like a bee, getting everything done, and I, um, I just really want, I meditated on you guys. There's an extra little special message for a few of like for two signs if you don't hear me um say the channel message look in the description box because um yeah <laughs> i forgot to say it but let's get into this energy for today okay um we all know that up until this point okay we've all been making some kind of decisions okay you have between worlds and it's making the decision to come out of one state into the next um and Coming out of something that really wasn't for you or, you know, really wasn't good to you um, and coming into something that is way more better and way more um, resembles you. So I feel like also with three is the number of creation, which is my favorite number because it's a, um, 
Jesus conscious number. And you know I love me some Jesus. So, um, yeah, um, it's the number of creation. So I feel like you've made the necessary decisions or today you're going to be making the necessary decisions to cultivate and create your life as you want it. Okay. And all you need to do, you don't have to worry about the details. All you need to do is make a decision to want better. Simple. Let the universe figure everything out. You don't need to figure out how you're going to make it happen. No, you just need to make the decision to walk from between one side that doesn't work and walk into the new. Okay. And let the universe make all the other arrangements that is needed. Okay. Now we're going to get into this. Okay. I just want to let you guys know that, um, this is basically, these two are what you're trading in and this is what you're coming in, okay? This is what you are, this is the, the decision that you made or the decision that you're going to make today, okay? This is what is going to happen in your life with this full moon in Capricorn, okay? So we're going to turn these over. All right. So we have the fork in the road. The fork in the road. Imagine... And building blocks okay so like I said you at some point in your life there are some decisions that you had or have to make concerning you and your well-being okay the ultimately that are going to bring the desires of your heart to you but first it must start with you and first you have to make the decision and I feel in this I'm talking in this energy because you're going to get it okay at some point in time, when if you don't get it today, you're going to get it. So I'm just going to talk in that energy. Because that's the only energy that matters to me, honestly. So the fork in the road, you've made a decision, okay? And once you make a decision, you're going to realize that what your life can be and what you can have is truly limitless. There's truly nothing that you can't have once you make the decision to just get out of your own way and let the universe work and cultivate and build this life that truly fits you that truly resembles you and yourself because that's what is that's what's important you so you have to make sure that you're happy and you're complete in your life okay also okay for some of you you make the decision you're going to be making a decision day but for some of you you could already made that decision okay and you're cleaning it up you're cleaning house and yay, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> um, you're remaining flexible, okay? You're not letting that, even though you have to remove some things or remove yourself from some things, you're not letting it turn you biz busy. You're staying open. You're staying open so the universe can work through for you and through you and bring you the desires of your heart. You're not closed off. So that's good. Your chakras are balanced. You're in alignment, Okay, and being like this, you're just thinking of you're a thinker right now you're, of the endless possibilities. You know, you're thinking you're in a moment of reflecting, forgiving, showing gratitude, you know, and that is what we on um, what we definitely want to do on this full moon. I'm going to link a um, one of our tribe members. <laughs> I believe her name is Susan. She did a um, forgiveness um, mantra. And I want you guys to print this out tonight, okay, or screenshot it. And I want you to say this mantra tonight when you're by yourself. Say it three times. Like I said, it's funny that, you know, Susan says say it three times. But also with the three, we have, um, you know, three is about creation. So new beginnings. So go ahead and say this self. Um, oh, my God, guys, I'm hungry if you hurt my stomach growl. <laughs> but, yeah, um, go ahead and say this to yourself, okay? Know that I'm going to do it. I don't know. Depending on where we are, I wish we could all, like, have a time that we do it and we come together. But the fact that we will all be doing it together, can you imagine the energy shift? That's going to be, like, fucking amazing, okay? So I really want you guys to do that now, Okay? When you being by we made decisions to make the decision this being that we made the decision to do make the decision and we actually are doing like you know removing things and just letting you know what the universe removes and we're just letting we're going with the flow and being flex, flexible and staying open okay with that okay there is a new life on the horizon okay that is truly filled with treasures, okay, of all your heart's desires. And this is not fluff, fluff talk. This is not me trying to sweeten you up. No, you did the work. You had to remove yourself from some shit, let go of some shit that you really didn't really want to let go of, but you knew it wasn't serving you. So you put yourself first. 
So by you putting yourself first, that means you care about yourself, okay? You love yourself. So guess what's that's what you're seeking. So guess what's seeking you? Okay? The desires of your heart, those things that you truly want, the treasure of life, a new life. And even with that treasure, you've manifested this by your positive mindset. Okay, even when we want it to go left, we, we continue to stay on that um, clear, direct line with spirit. And even when we got knocked off, we got right back on. So you did this, baby. You cultivated this new life that you will be experiencing, okay, by the law of attraction, by saying affirmations, by speaking it into existence, okay? And even with new life, it doesn't necessarily, it, it doesn't always mean just like, um, you know, a single father new life, but it could be birth of a new ideas, a new project you're working on, okay? Growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself, okay? Whatever, however, whatever that is for you, that's what it is. And like I said, clap for yourself. Truly clap for yourself. Because, let me get this back over here. This is the card I'm looking for. The last card, okay? It talks about being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best, okay, and really having the confidence you need. So this is all what you're gaining, my loves, okay? <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so, 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 so happy, so happy because, oh, uh, oh, I'm so happy for you guys, okay? So I hope that this was beneficial for you. Get excited, okay? Um, Honestly, this is not, no, this ain't gonna resonate for um nobody. Get in alignment, because this is truly what is for you. This is truly what is waiting on the other side when you decide to make the decisions that you need to make, okay? So I love you, my babies. Make sure you check out the um, self-care one-on-ones. They will be up today, so just be looking out for that, okay? And also, I still will be doing your spirit, your monthlies. This is just a bonus that I wanted to give to you guys, okay? So as always, I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and so much peace. Go out and be great, okay? Bye.